Last week, we warned that the atmosphere was showing the early signs of a sudden stratospheric warming event. Today, that warning has been confirmed. The collapse has begun, and the first phase is already underway above the Arctic. Meteorologists detected the start of the event on November 21. Temperatures in the stratosphere jumped fast, and a high-pressure dome pushed straight into the core of the vortex. That pressure is now deforming the entire system and forcing it off the pole. It is one of the earliest collapses recorded in the last 70 years. The timeline has sharpened. Peak disruption will hit between November 25 and 28. That lines up directly with Thanksgiving. Surface level impacts usually take two to three weeks to work downward, which puts the first major cold outbreak in the United States and Canada between December 1st and December 7th. The current displacement puts the heart of the vortex over eastern Canada and the northeastern United States. That creates a channel that pulls Arctic air south across the Midwest, the Plains, and the Northeast. Forecasters say the setup raises the probability of a white Christmas in several regions, and snowfall may reach as far as northwestern Texas. Europe begins warm, but that will not last. As the pattern shifts later in December, a high-pressure ridge to the north and low-pressure to the south can pull freezing air into northern and central Europe. That is the same pattern that produced past cold waves known for heavy snow across the region. Meteorologists now consider the collapse active. The key question is how deep the cold will go once the atmosphere couples downward. 